I'm Tom Bazan, class of 2005 and chair of the Knox College Alumni Council Awards Committee. It is my privilege to present the 2020 Knox Service Awards. The Knox Service Award was established in 1987 and recognizes individuals who best exemplify the ideals of a liberal arts education through ongoing loyalty and distinguished volunteer service to Knox. This year, we are pleased to bestow Knox Service Awards to three extraordinary individuals. It is my pleasure to present the first award to June Adachi, class of 1981. Since his graduation in 1981, June Adachi has become an international ambassador for Knox, returning frequently to his native Japan to promote Knox to high school students and teachers and organizing U.S. college tours for Japanese teachers. Adachi has played an important role in continuing the strong relationship between the college and the nation of Japan that has existed for nearly a century since Knox alumnus Edgar Bancroft served as U.S. Ambassador to Japan. As a 20-year member of the Guru Bancroft Foundation and as a Bancroft Scholarship recipient himself, Adachi has interviewed and mentored dozens of students, among them the 15 Japanese students on campus now. Adachi's support of Knox extends to the college's soccer program, where he was a four-time all-conference player, serving as team captain and selected as team MVP. He continues to help recruit student athletes, hosts post-game tailgates for the team when they play in the Chicago area, is a regular participant in the alumni soccer games, and helped lead the charge to renovate George Pratt's field. As a member of Phi Gamma Delta, he helped organize the 150th Fiji Pig Dinner in 2017, and has participated in all nine Paul Brower Memorial Fiji versus Phi Delta Theta annual golf challenges. Long after his graduation, Adachi has continued to keep Knox College as part of his life by attending and supporting as many Knox events in Galesburg, Chicago, and around the world as he can. Congratulations, June. I'm very pleased to accept this award to represent the three communities that I represent. One is the International Students Community and the Guru Bancroft Foundation, which made my education at Knox possible. Mr. Bancroft was a U.S. Ambassador in 1920s, and over the years, over 25 students graduate from Knox as a Guru Bancroft Scholar. There is one school a uh, scholar that I, in particular, that I like to uh, uh, recognize, Michiko Tanaka, the class of 1957, who received the same award back in 2003 for building alumni network in Japan. She also played a very important role in my life for convincing my parents marrying Noel, the class of 82, was a good idea. Second group that I represent the Knox men's soccer team, uh, started by Coach Jorge Prats. The team from 1978, who became a Athletic Hall of Fame, the captain of which, Norm Hilner, graciously accepted me as my teammate. In return, I assisted many of his goals. I taught them how to use chopsticks, and we became great golfing buddies. Here is his message. My name is Norm Hilner, Knox class of 1979. I'm very pleased to congratulate my friend, my soccer teammate, and my Fiji fraternity brother, Jun Adachi, on his very deserved selection as one of the Knox Alumni Award recipients for 2020. Jun has been very involved with the Knox community since his graduation almost 40 years ago. He has been instrumental in recruiting many international students to Knox, especially those from Japan, who like himself for the Bancroft Scholarship Program. He has been a major supporter of Knox soccer, not only financially with the renovation of Prouts Field, but with his attendance at matches and all the men's soccer alumni events. He has been very active in the recruiting of student athletes from the North Road suburb of Chicago as well. Jun is a member of the Knox Lombard Athletic Hall of Fame as a member of the 1978 men's soccer team. And he is also a nominee for the Athletic Hall of Fame as an individual for his four-time All-Midwest Conference play. Jun is also very supportive of the Phi Gamma Delta fraternity. I'm a proud Knox alum who is very honored to nominate Jun for this award. 
and very pleased to see him receive the recognition he deserves. Thanks, go fire, and stay safe. The third group that I represent is Brothers of Peach House. Fraternity was a very foreign concept for me, but I decided to join. I'm not going to share any stories here to protect everybody's privacy, but life has never been the same. In summary, I'd like to thank all the community who accepted me, and I'm glad that I helped building international community at Knox since graduation, and I'm glad the soccer program played an important role in that process. Go Fire! The next award is presented to Wendy Sherwat Duperno, class of 1972. This fall marks 28 years that Wendy Sherwat Duperno has served as class correspondent for the Knox College class of 1972. Dismayed by a frequently empty mailbox, she developed a simple method for encouraging more classmates to submit their news. Sharing this method with other class correspondents, our vibrant class notes section of Knox Magazine is widely read and enjoyed by alumni across the world. Wendy is determined to keep people connected to each other and to Knox. In the early days of Facebook, she created a Knox Class of 1972 page. Maintained with regular posts, it provides a site where 136 alumni share news, jokes, photos, and musical suggestions. Something like an online gizmo. As a class correspondent, Wendy has searched for and found numerous lost classmates. She provides updated contact information to Knox Records along with news of births, deaths, marriages, and special awards. She nominates classmates she feels are deserving of the Knox Alumni Awards and has served as reunion chair several times. Wendy's dedication to encouraging and persuading classmates to come back to Knox shows in historical reunion numbers. The class of 1972 frequently has the highest number of attendees at home. For their 40th reunion, Wendy was blessed by an amazing committee. They staged an alumni art exhibit for their Friday night event, created a two CD set of 43 musical favorites from their years in the Berg, and even compiled and published a literary magazine called 40 Years After Catch. It featured artwork, poems, photographs, and even stories by classmates. Wendy spent hours making sure that they had permission to print every item submitted. All sales proceeds went towards the renovation of Alumni Hall. In 2018, an exhibit called 99 Lives, the Knox College Gold Star Memorial Project, was staged in CFA. Curious for more detail about 10 of those lives, Wendy spent six months researching military records, genealogy sites, high school yearbooks, and Knox archives. In order to make them more widely accessible, she posted one story online each week that spring. These expanded biographies help us remember and honor those beloved Knox alumni who died during the conflict in Vietnam. In addition to her service to Knox, Wendy is a frequent blood donor, a member of Swim with Mike fundraiser for 38 years, and is heavily involved with BSA, GS USA, youth sports, and local fundraising. Congratulations, Wendy. The next award is presented to Esther Wilson, class of 1999. Esther Wilson was a key figure behind the formation of BAN, the Knox College Black Alumni Network, in 2015. The creation of any organization requires strong leadership. BAN found that strength in Esther Wilson, says Deborah Banks, class of 73, one of the founding members of Black Alumni Association of Knox College. BAN's first big initiative was bringing back 100 Black alumni to campus for homecoming 2015. Buoyed by that success, they have continued to host homecoming events for Black alumni each year, including the 50th anniversary celebration of ABLE in 2018. 
Other band projects are focused on building stronger connections between the Black alumni and the current students, the college, and the Board of Trustees. Members seek to build upon their shared Knox experience to foster alumni traditions, serve the diverse needs and interests of current Black students, and curate a culture of philanthropy among the alumni body. Wilson, who serves as the president on BAN's board of directors, also collaborated in an oral history for ABLE for Knox Magazine in 2018. In that article, Wilson stressed the importance of alumni remaining engaged and continuing to remind students and administration of the purposes and importance of ABLE. Wilson helps foster understanding and support that Black alumni can provide to current Black students to enhance their Knox experience. Preserving that history is a priority for her. At homecoming, she works with college staff to conduct video interviews with Black alumni, each one sharing a story of their Knox experience for future students. In her community, Wilson serves as a volunteer for the Family Promise of Gwinnett County Incorporated, which brings existing local resources together to help homeless children and their families. She also serves as a volunteer for the Morehouse School of Religion Alumni Association. Congratulations, Esther, and to the 2020 Knox Service Award recipients. Thank you on behalf of the Alumni Council and the entire alumni body. Thank you for your service to an alma mater that we love so much. Thank you very much. Greetings from Atlanta, Georgia. 2020 is remarkable for so many reasons, among which is that it is the fifth anniversary of the Black Alumni Network. In 2015, alumni formed this organization in direct response to outreach from the students. We recognized that we needed an organization where we could not only network and reconnect with one another, but we could foster relationships with current students on campus and we could work with the Knox College community. Over the past five years, BAN has exceeded our expectations. We are looking forward to more engagement with not only the college, but more opportunities to work with the students. Thank you so much for the Knox College Alumni Service Award. I hope to see you all next year on campus.